want to pay tribute to my constituents who's lives have changed forever and the many campaigners who have fought for so many years for truth and justice infected by this scandal. From Hillsworth to the post office to the infected blood scandal and many, many more. We have watched states and institutions cover up wrongdoing and blame the innocent with no accountability. Minister, how long do we have to wait for those in this place to finally act and rebalance the scales of justice and to deliver a full Hillsborough law? Yesterday's event show how necessary that law is to begin to end the culture of cover ups that are shamefully hardwired into our institutions. Well, I very much respect the points he's made about the, the Hillsborough. I mean, I, I'm not able to answer his question specifically on that today. My remarks are around the compensation scheme, but I think there are a number of points made about the incidence of public inquiries on a range of issues, what that says about our state and the failure of it in different ways. And, is, and as the Honourable Gentleman says, the considerable effort required that should never have been required by individuals to you know, apprehend the state for what has happened. These are wider matters that we will need to come to terms with, but I don't think I'll be able to do justice to his remarks today.